What's going on guys? It's been a long time since I've uploaded on this channel, but we are going down to Safwat Cars because I've been with this car for three years now and it's about time I start looking at some replacements. Yes, so I've been with this car for three years now and it's about time that I start parting ways with it. I absolutely love this thing, I adore it. Um, I've had a little bit of trouble uh, having it and owning it. I have had a little bit of trouble, I can't lie. But South End is always really noisy. <laughs> <laughs> Always puts me off. Um, but yeah, it's time to part ways. I've been on the Safford website. I've got a little bit of budget to play with, so we're just gonna have a little look and uh, see what we can afford. Oh, I do love it. I do love it, and I miss it when it goes, but let's go and have some fun. Let's go and have a look. Let's go and see what they've got in stock. Right, so let's start over here with this gorgeous old Triumph. I don't really know much about classic cars, but this is awesome leather seats on the inside it's an automatic as well very very basic interior but that looks wicked doesn't it i'm not a big fan of red cars either but kind of like it over here we've got this gorgeous morgan i don't know again i don't know much about classic cars so uh i mean i don't know what else to say about it other than the fact that it's convertible with two seats very basic interior looks awesome but it's a lot of fun to drive as well i believe it's a 1.8 liter as well so i'm sure it don't hang about for the size of it and all and so we're going to start over here now i don't know much about porsches so i'm going to get up my phone because i've got all the information on their website uh so i am looking at a 991 carrera 4s pdk and i love this color yellow and their interior in porsches are usually pretty cool they look very awesome on the inside and it's still fairly basic but i i really like this this is right up my street four seats as well awesome what a beautiful color that is that is one of my favorites um and then if we go to this one here again i'm pulling it up on my phone because i do not know enough of what i'm looking at so this is a 992 Carrera S convertible. Also, just as gorgeous. Got a little glance, glance of the interior in there, can we see? One second. It's a lot nicer interior than the yellow one, I believe, with a Porsche emblem on the armrest, armrest as well, which I really like. And again, there are two seats back there, but you don't get much room. 911 Carrera S on the door plate thing there. That's awesome. Oh. And then another Porsche convertible. Again, I know absolutely nothing about, which is a Targa 4, Targa 4 PDK convertible. That looks awesome. And I also noticed got a rear wiper i don't know if that's a thing I, I literally know nothing about porsches i'm not even gonna lie they don't really do a lot for me but i know they like them here at Safwat cars so it's always at least a porsche here i do think that yellow one is my favorite that does look cool i just love that color that is awesome and then we're gonna make our way we've got some very interesting stuff over there by the way but let's make our way to the q2 again i'm not a big fan of red so this isn't really my kind of thing but i respect it and it's cool so q2 we've got an x3 which is quite a bit bigger if i kind of squat down a little you can see the x3 is actually quite a bit bigger than the q2 but then the q7 uh, q7 x7 sorry x3 x7 sorry my bad <laughs> is actually quite a bit bigger than the x3 as well this is an absolute beast we've got some cream interior in here as well which looks awesome um can i just sneak my camera on oh, no, it's locked never mind then that looks cool very dark privacy glass at the back and what have we got here again i don't know much about bmws i'm literally a mercedes man and that's about it <laughs> So I don't really know enough, but this is actually what I came down here for. I nearly bought this car. Um, it's still on the Safwat cars. It's been on there for a while and we can't work out why it's still on the website. It's been on there for about a month now and it's just gorgeous, like all over. Let's have a little peek on the inside. 
what a beautiful car all the carbon fiber on the inside it's got to just be something to do with the fuel prices i can't imagine why this isn't selling what a beautiful car if i literally had the money tomorrow to get it which i almost do have i would buy it what a stunning car how this hasn't sold i don't know beautiful car and it's a c63s as well this is quite an interesting thing to see as well so this is uh wild track i think that's what it's called ranger in this awesome like matte green and the interior has got like a black and orange leather which is really really cool you just don't see things like this I mean, very basic Ford displays and buttons and stuff. Very basic Ford, but what a beautiful car. What a beautiful car. I respect it, and it's enormous. Look at the size of this thing. It's enormous. And then we're gonna get to the special stuff in a second, but let's go here to the um, M240i which again looks awesome. I do really like these alloys actually on this car and they do sound wicked and all. Next to an M2 competition as well. And these, the competition alloys are my favorite. They look wicked, look at them, check them out. Beautiful, and I really like this color, but I actually prefer the color on the M4 competition. We'll go and have a look at that in just a second. Let's go here to the GLE D, 350D I think it was, I believe. And again, I'm a Mercedes man, so I love this. Um, I just wouldn't have one because it's a diesel. Personally, this isn't my kind of car. But again, it's very similar to mine. Not a lot different display-wise. It's all the same as mine. Um, seats are pretty similar, but slightly different. Yeah, just very Mercedes, isn't it? Nice car. Let's move on to the RSQ8. Now, this is an absolute weapon i love these wheels these wheels are awesome they're almost like turbine wheels i don't know if that's a thing um black calipers is literally black on black on black that looks awesome look how dark the windows are as well let's have a little sneaky look in here look at that see that is audi oh there's audi sport uh door projection is that what it's called <laughs> oh, that looks awesome look at this in here what a beautiful place to be lovely um <laughs> what is this called uh stitching in the seats and the rs embroidered on there as well what a beautiful car that is wicked car well actually it's almost blue it's black but it's almost blue it's like a or a purple maybe it's like a deep purple almost that looks kind of funky and then a range rover autobiography which again doesn't really do a lot for me and i respect it it's a cool car but Again, it's it's just does nothing for me, really. Nice big leather seats. And I mean, it's a nice place to be, don't get me wrong. Just doesn't do a lot for me. Now, let's walk all the way down this end because the nicest car is at the back of the showroom. So let's go all the way back down here to this M40i and make our way down this direction so this is this lovely m2 competition i'm going to show you these alloys from over here they look awesome look at them i do like them or the m4 competition alloys on there see they look cool as well because they sink in i can't remember what the word is convex or concave one of them it goes in ah, i like that they look funky and i love this color this color is like it's almost like a crayon gray and it looks awesome i love that i do love an m4 oh what a car what a beauty look at that dashboard that is cool one awesome car that is and now we have a cali t a ferrari california t I actually prefer the Cali T to the California. A um, couple of different reasons. One of them is the exhaust. For whatever reason, the California's exhaust are that way round. But the Cali T, they decided to do them this way round. And I prefer that. It just looks more normal. 
and these have a great sound to them as well let me just have another little peek inside typical ferrari interior in here beautiful car in here carbon fiber steering wheel with, with the race uh, the shift light sorry at the top it says california on the dashboard cali t with a yellow rev counter i like that a lot but it's very basic from ferrari isn't it and i i couldn't tell you how old these cars are but it's a very basic looking car isn't it i'm more of a lambo fan but we'll get to that in a second and then over here We've got ourselves an F12 Berlinetta. How cool are these with the yellow brake calipers? Look at them alloys, they look awesome. And obviously all of these cars are on charge. There's a lot of cables around, so you've got to mind this. But the thing that caught my attention was the interior. The interior of this F12 is brown. Look at that. Look how cool that is. I'm a big fan of that. That looks awesome look and then f12 on the dashboard as it as it comes to life what a beautiful car that is i'm a big fan of the brown what a wicked wicked car but the car that was actually undercover when i got here and i asked if the covers could be re re uh, removed we've got an aventador sv how cool is this what a beautiful car black on black aventador sv with the four exhaust at the back <laughs> what a wicked 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 car oh my god oh my god okay so i've never sat in a lamborghini apart from a urus that I sat in uh, at Saxton 4x4, so I'm going to have to sit in this. I'm going to take my shoes off, and I am sitting in this car. What a beautiful thing. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to go and open the driver's door. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm fanboying right now. That is awesome. <laughs> I am fanboying hard. Look at that. <laughs> what a car I I don't even care at this point my shoes are off I just really want to sit in this car I'm gonna be as gentle as I can because this car is stupid money oh my god you just get this sense of occasion in here this is just i can't even describe it i feel so <laughs> i don't even know what the word is i'm in this car do you know what i mean wow like what what a car look at this start stop button stratus i've never sat in a lamborghini i'm a huge huge lamborghini fan like mega lamborghini fan i would have any Lamborghini over any Ferrari any day you literally throw the keys at me and I will be running with it <laughs> I'm a big big Lamborghini fan and I'm now sat in one of the best Lamborghinis ever made and apparently this is the most violent again I've never sat in one and I've definitely never been passenger in one so to be sat in this is mind-blowing to me absolutely mind-blowing carbon fiber everywhere the shift look at the paddles Look at the paddles on this steering wheel. They're enormous. What a car. What an absolute weapon. So if money was no object, I actually would have, oh, it's hard. I would have the SV, but the seats are very hard. So actually I would probably have the F12 with a brown interior, if money was no object. However, I'm actually trying to buy a car and I'm trying to be a bit realistic. So, and it's what I came here for, but I would have to have the C63 AMG S. I would like to just have a little look on the inside and have a little seat inside this car. It's what I came here to have a look at. 
I would love to have this car. If I could have one of these for the day to do a video on, I fully would. Right, I've never driven a C63. The only cars I've driven, right, this is a this is a fun fact, you know. The only cars I've ever driven are three. So I've driven three track cars. I've driven a Lamborghini Gallardo. I've driven a Audi R8, which are basically the same thing, and an Aerial Atom. The three cars that I've driven plus my <laughs> Vauxhall Corsa, Fiat Punto. Fiesta ST and my Mercedes are the three car, four cars in fact, sorry, that I own, that I've driven, plus my dad's Honda CRV. So I don't really have a big track record of cars that I've driven, but this for me would be my ultimate next car. But I'm gonna make this the end of my video now. Thank you all so much for watching. Please make sure you hit subscribe because you might end up seeing this C63 on my channel. You never know. You never know. I'm not holding my breath just yet. <laughs> um, but I, I love C63s. And I'm a big Mercedes fan, as you know. I've got a CLA myself. Um, and, yeah, so. <sighs> Goodbye, Aventador. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to Sapphot Cars as well for allowing me to be in here to film because they've got some incredible stock. They always have done. And there's also a second showroom, which I actually don't even know where it is, but I know they've got some more incredible stock, things like AMG GTSs. Um, there's some more BMWs and things that aren't in this room uh, that they've got and some more Porsches as well. Um, they've got all sorts. So make sure you check out Sapphot Cars. I don't know if you can see that. There you go, sapphotcars.co.uk. Make sure you check out their website to see what they have in stock. But obviously, we've got to have another look at this Aventador SV. What a stunning, stunning car. If money was no object, I think you would have to have one. But I don't know if you would go far in it. Purely because of the fuel crisis at the minute and everything. Can we get a little sneak peek of that engine bay? I don't think we can. I'm not going to get too close to the paint. Look at these wheels. Look at the wheels, man. <laughs> LP 750-4 SV. What a car. I've put fingerprints on it. <gasps> it's going to have to be cleaned now. I'm very sorry, Safwat. But please make sure you hit that subscribe button because we are going to be buying a car fairly soon. And you're going to have to wait and see what it is. So thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button. There will be more from me coming very, very soon. We're going to be trying to upload more regularly. So thank you to Safford Cars for allowing me to film in here today. Make sure you check out their website. Links will be in the description. And Safford, if you would like to do a little collab, you know, a little something, something, let us know. <laughs> uh, that's me just trying to be cheeky. But yeah, cheers, guys. Thank you and take care.